Welcome back to MLT World Journal. Today, friend, in this video, I am going to share you urine microscopy slide. Urine in urine routine examination in microscope. What are the three main things that we will see more common? That is pus cells, red cells, and epithelial cells. So I will show you how to differentiate between pus cells, then red cells, and then epithelial cells. Watch this video completely. This video will be very helpful, especially for the students and those who are working in microbiology microbiology department. The first mirror now you are watching that is. pus cells how to differentiate first you will see the shape and then uh, size uh, and uh, we will see now you see the pus cells are round in shape and they are granulated the other one smaller one that you are watching that is red cells that are smaller than the pus cells but sometime if fresh rbcs there will be size will be almost equal to pus cells so don't be confused pus cells are always granulated now you see in this uh, pus cells uh, slide the pus cells are little bit smaller in size as compared to the previous smear but all pus cells are granulated the smaller the small small that is bacteria and other all are uh, 99% in this smear are pus cells only we will calculate a quotient to at least minimum you have to see 10 fields and then in each field count how many pus cells and then report according to as a average now you will see these are the rbc this is the plenty or numerous or too many to count you can report red cells are i sometime red cells will be smaller in shape sometime big and sometime crenated uh, not round uh, there will be round but the shape will be little bit crenated shape depending on the rbcs coming from the ureter from the kidney from the bladder but rbcs are a granulated you will see there will be no granules in the rbcs and the most important thing just don't confuse rbcs with yeast cells and bubbles bubbles have thick wall and yeast cell always will show budding and little bit oval shape but rbcs are always round in shape now in this uh, smear full almost rbcs only and then other granulated cells are pus cells that you will see so now uh, before i show you pus cells even in this also you can see the difference between pus cells and red cells pus cells are granulated and red cells are without granules clean and round shape like we will say that crystal clear that type of rbcs now you see in this this is the almost fresh rbcs that's why and uh, now you see this is the epithelial cells epithelial cells are totally different from pus cells and red cells easy to differentiate they are bigger in size and there will be one nucleus in the center of the epithelial cells epithelial cells are different shapes mostly you will find this squamous shape epithelial cell there are sometime round big shape so that time don't confuse pus cells because pus cells will be not that much big if you will see one round big cell with uh, sorry one round shape with center nucleus now you see one just in the smear uh, that will be epithelial cells now this you see this is full epithelial cells in each epithelial cell there is the a uh, nucleus in the center and the shape is totally different and they are bigger than the pus cells and red cells and i as i told mostly you will find squamous epithelial cell in the urine microscopy so i hope this video will be helpful for all of you to differentiate between pus cells red cells and epithelial cells thank you so much